okay guys, we're back for another Alan Week um, video, but I just recorded a whole 40 minute long episode and I had the mic muted the whole time. Well, I had it was on the control, but the control was muted and I didn't know, so that muted the headset. So I've just lost all of my save. All, everything, it's all, it's useless, so no one would watch it without my, my, my commentary, so it's all wasted. But, I'll upload, I'll add some of the commentary, I'll add, no not the commentary, I'll add some of the footage from the first one I say without the commentary. I'll add this, that to this, so that you can see some of the things that happened before I got to this point. So, I already know that the code is 56, wait what is it again, 565. Five six. Oh, is it five six six? Hang on. Five six five. Yeah. So I'm not happy about that. I'm really not happy about that. I just lost all that save. I was saying some funny stuff. It was all live action. You know what I mean? It was all just happening live. First time experiencing it. Yeah, it's all been wasted. But. You learn from your mistakes, don't you? So this guy, this janitor in here, it's not swim. There you are, Tom. not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. Good to see you. Hey, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> what the hell is this? Of course, Tom. The world will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of air mans. A man, but a man with a two makes two, Tom. Egony. <laughs> and a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. He's a wise man. A very wise man. So what I think I'm going to do... Is I think I'm going to add the clip, the intro to this, to this, to how I got to this point. I'm going to add it to the, right now, and then you can you can skip ahead if you want. If you don't want to watch it without my commentary, it'll just be just raw footage of me playing the game, and then just so you can see how I got here, I'll 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 cut it up so it shows all the most important parts, and then we'll you can get back to this part. I know where, where, how I got here and stuff like that. So. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Well, we have a great show for you here tonight. Alan, what did you be here? Alan, one of my all time favorite writers and guests on the show. Talk about it, read a book. Oh! Oh! And as usual, I'll help man. Oh, God, the bad guard is. Oh, fuck. Was I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Uh, tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. 
Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooked up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. <sighs> I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Note to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alex. <laughs> Always talk of meta-narrative. Expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? 
Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window. My own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? So, that janitor wants us to get something from the basement. Um... Something in a shoebox. Is this what the janitor had left for me? What is it? It's a golden globe. It's an Oscar. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I just realized that the audio is coming through the TV and not my headset, so I think that could mess I felt it up. A magnetic pull between the lamp and overhead. Right, I'm back. I was just starting out the audio because it's coming through the CV and stuff. Uh, I keep messing everything up now. So. When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. The glow I know the that you do glowed, this. Shifting the light in the room. And I know that you do this. The light carved out something new from the darkness. And you go up here. At least we can get a streamlined version where, I mean, I'm not stuck for a while. I did get stuck for about a couple minutes before last time. I can't remember where you go here. Is there anything down here? I feel like you go this way. Yeah. Bars the door down, bastard. Wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember. Clickety clackety, type away. The light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real, and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer to the map, the key, the compass, a mess to find, to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean, and a lake? This is a straight up bop. Anyway, we shall continue. It's such a shame that that footage was wasted though, because it was good. It was good footage. So, let's see. Shoebox. The shoebox can store your items. Alan can access stored items from any shoebox in the dark place. He mustn't have a lot of items if he can fit it all in a shoebox. He's a shoebox man. Let's quick save. Take a swig of coffee. Oh, this is cool. The payphone was ringing. Somehow this is cool. Was for me. But of course, but in between with Mr. Door, in between with Mr. Door. This looks really cool here. 
What's that? Is that a map? Yes, yeah, need that. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Hello, Wake. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu <clears throat> washed over me. Have I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You just forgot again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got a cow. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Bastard. It's the movie phone booth. You ever seen the movie phone booth? Or the film, should I say? I don't say movie. That's from Americans, man. And the Americans watching that are like, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? In the film, he's in a phone booth. He's in a phone box. On the phone to a murderer. But, well, like a... a He's like a, a man had some sort of killer. Station. Hang on. I had to go there. And uh, he's watching him with a sniper from a building in the phone booth, and he's giving him like instructions of what he needs to do. And if he doesn't follow, he'll sh if he doesn't follow along, he'll shoot him. But then it just ends up like spiraling out of control into just chaos. Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. Right. Well, what's that? Hey. What the hell is this? Straight up, buddy. I used to have a jumper that I made myself on one of them websites that you can design your own clothes that said straight up on it. Straight up. And my sister stole it from me. Oh, this is actually the right way. I didn't think this would be the right Oh, wait, it maybe not. Be opened on this side. It could not be opened on this side. Hmm. To go this way. I think I went this way, didn't I? No? Right. Let's see. That light there, that's what I need. Oh, for shout. It's got an arrow pointing to that, but I don't think that's what I need. I think I need that light right there. Illumination. With an arrow pointing to it. Clearly. This is the way. This is the way. Okay, of course I went the wrong way. The arrow was clearly pointing from that side. They're the um, demagogues. Is this the way it was on the page? This is the way. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up, Max Payne? Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? What is it? Evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim?
Fuck this shit, I'm out. Casey. Just kidding. Casey, no! You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. I always knew you were a bastard, Casey. You deserved it. It could not be opened on this side. Why does he say it like that? It could not be opened on this side. To protect myself. Find the light. Trophy. Got the gun. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. We we'll showed them all. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, the rest of the shadows block my way. Do I have to shoot him? I can just run past him. Oh shit! 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 Go, 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 go. What's going on here? Oh, man. How'd you get through there? Wait, hang on. I think I've got to shoot this guy. Oh, what? The flashlight. Oh. I see. Oh, bastard. Wow, what? He just one bomb me? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you got fucked up, man. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but it just is. <laughs> it's not even funny, it's pretty sick, really.